Hey guys, and welcome to the second installment of the Play It By Play series. Thank you so much for all the feedback in the previous episode. Once again, feedback is huge as well as, you know, what you actually like and what you don't like in these series. Today we are running Shoreline with an AKM. If you guys like to see a certain gun and map in the future, please leave a comment down below, as well as any suggestions or feedback on the series. It'll be hugely appreciated. During this episode, we do actually do more of the live feedback so actually whilst i'm in raid instead of the voiceover if you guys actually do prefer me doing the voiceover like i am doing right now whilst i am in game then i can implement that as well as well as a few bits of the in raid voiceover commentary that i am doing but if you prefer actually the voiceover commentary then just leave a little comment down below again also, just to nip the bud right now, I do call someone out for stream sniping in this video. I've got no idea if they are or if they're not. It is a possibility because I do have Twitch in my name. Why do you have Twitch in your name if you don't want people to come into your stream? Well, you know, it's a gentleman's sport at the end of the day. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. I don't get salty at the end of the day. Who doesn't want to advertise their business? Anyway, there is no toxicity towards the individual or whatever. It is just purely a information that goes through my head and it is something that I do take into consideration whilst I am doing these videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these series and enjoy this episode. A big thank you to the Patreons as well as to Beansy, Freddy and Per Fredrickson for your continued support. Ah, oh, I sent you a message, Beansy. All right. We got four spawns around us. We got one directly to the left of us, which might be too close. Actually, we got a bit more than that. We got one here to the left. We got one literally just over this hill. And we got one, two, three over in that general, general direction. And there could technically be a fourth one next to the arch if they want to push back. So we've actually caught quite a aggressive spawn. Nine times out of ten when you spawn here, over here to the left-hand side, they don't spawn really. So a lot of the time when you spawn here, people over in this general direction will end up pushing back down this way. So when it comes to our positioning, we always haven't heard anything yet. When it comes to our positioning, we've got to be careful because if you stand on top of a hill, you silhouette. So you don't actually ever want to stand on top of a hill. You want to stand down a little bit from the top of the hill. The silhouette in Tarkov is a dangerous fucking thing. Making love to a tree just like so. You can actually walk through this tree. Making love to a tree in Tarkov will save your life. We're going to sit here for two seconds and look in this direction. We also just listen to see if there's any noise or movement. One of the best feelings in this game though, chat, right? Is uh, catching people who are trying to spawn camp you. Right? All right. We're gonna, we haven't heard anything this raid. No shots, no nothing. Keep a constant eye to our right, and we're also scanning that ridge up top there. Always scanning that whenever you're running along. Because a lot of the time, people. I don't know if those are shots, or if it's running. If it's running, they're close, and they're on the other side of this rock. If it's shots, they are over by. Radar tower. I'm gonna keep moving. I was constantly scanning to the, to the right. We were too close for, for scabs to spawn to the left hand side. So we don't need to worry about scabs. I want the high ground. I'm actually gonna change the way I'm going. But there's two ways up this rock face. You've got the one over here to the left, which is basically you run up. And right there, I call that Skyrim. You can literally just run up that hill. So we're gonna okay that's our first information of this raid someone is nading our station so let's get up here now we're gonna get some high ground so now we're up here we're gonna be using the render distance to our advantage nothing over there spawns in okay from this distance so we can have a look, especially if we've got a better monitor. Whilst we're moving along, we can see if there's any sort of movement. We've also got light on our favor, so you can see how everything there is lit up. And people are always going to stay lit up. From our perspective, looking from this way, because the sun's behind us. 
people basically illum like become a okay. Okay, so that's an AKM. Someone's doing a Punisher series task right now. Realistically, there's no point fighting any sort of scales on this map unless you're doing Punisher. Which means one of two things. One, there you go. One's dead. We saw another guy over to the far left. We gave our position away, so we're going to ro rotate more. I want to go back on top of that hill because all we need to do is look at the power lines because we know there's another individual when we actually shot that guy. And we also know that they're creeping. So there's actually two different teams at that location now. There's one that's inside fighting the scabs and one outside. They could be a team, but why would he be creeping up the hill if they were a team? It makes no sense. So I'm going to use range to my advantage. I now I've got max strength and endurance, so I can continue my rotate if I really wanted to. There we go. We've got a player behind us, which is also information that we're going to need. This player doesn't look that well geared. I take that back. He's got a silence SVDS. We're going to lie down so we don't silhouette as much. That shot right there was BitBot. If you don't know what BitBot is, basically chat can give me bits and it will make my gun or I can open up my inventory. Long story short, it has now given my position away. I am going to be using that shot as bait and then push along the right hand side. So we do want him to peek us. Whilst we're going to be pushing along the right hand side, we are going to keep a constant look down to the left. Also, whilst we're doing this, we do kind of want to give our position away so he would actually pre-fire us and then we can use our superior aim on him and then take him down. Okay, so he's in the ridge. We did just shoot, so technically he should be concentrating on where he missed. That's unlucky. Okay, I have height advantage as well, so my bullet doesn't travel downwards. The reason why he misses is because he's shooting up and his, his bullet's going to travel... Like, the arc. So that's why he missed us. was because of the arc. So now we're going to be engaging the people inside here. One's dead. He most probably needed that individual. We don't want to give too much of our position away from where we are. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to rotate around to the right hand side, but I want to dip. How do I see them so quickly? I've got 8,000 hours in this game. <laughs> I'm playing Taki for, for what? Five years now? Okay. We don't want to hit a bush, if we can. But... We're basically just looking for silhouettes right now. Okay, so they needed someone earlier. I'm actually going to reload. Turn my laser on. And pray that I'm going to flick quicker than them. Okay, we don't see anyone inside on the stairs. I don't know if anyone's inside, so I'm going to vote. Because in, if there is, they can give their position away. Hello? Yeah, bro. I was killing two guys over in the uh, power station, but you guys kind of made a noise. Anyone inside? Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. Why has a night vision? I'm gonna push in. I'm gonna go full auto. And I'm literally just gonna rush upstairs. Okay. His tag's still on him, his stuff's taken. Someone's taking his stuff. By the time we did our rotate, someone's gone. When we killed him, he had... Decent gear on. Okay, we had something over here to the right-hand side. Stick our head out for a little bit. Don't see anything. We gotta use a building for our line of sight. Yeah, he missed us. The SVD guy missed us. I don't know where he is, so 
So I'm literally put in that building from where I thought I had the sound was. But he also pushed up from this direction. So I'm hoping that he's not over here. But I have the only audio cue I have is something that's over to the far right hand side next to the pylon. And using rotate to our advantage. Gonna set a gun in single fire because the recoil of the gun changes. I'm still thinking that he's over, over in this direction because he would have known that I would have pushed down and round. Realistically, the correct play would be for me to leave. But I'm also, if he is in the stream, I can also use the delay of the stream to, to my advantage. He might not be. He might have just been a fucking hatch and I could have just totally just missed saw it, but I'd rather just let's play it safe and leave. Okay, so next thing. The guy to the far left was silenced with his SVDS. Okay. And he could have killed the AKM guy down below. So there's two possibilities right here. The AKM guy down below, right, is part of that squad or he's solo and he's dead. Or he could have just left. I'm quite surprised that he hasn't sort of investigated what's going on. Especially as there's only, what, three shots shot in the end? Which was me one tapping this guy and me one tapping the other guy. So when I push up, I'm very aggressive and I use trees to my, my advantage. If he's going to be anywhere camping this guy's body, I'm thinking he's either going to be over there or over there to the right hand side. Because either way, it's height. The reason why I don't think he's actually going to be over there is because his body is out in the open. Realistically, if he's going to be covering his friend's body, why would he be up there? He'd want somewhere to he would want to be somewhere where he can actually see me loot his friend's body. We're gonna look for the black tip. He doesn't have one. So I was gonna take the gun instead. Black tip means that he's either got BP or or uh, traces. Yeah. We don't care about you. So now we're gonna race that over to the other guy. Whilst constantly looking at silhouettes looking at every single bush and we're looking for a helmet shape right so we're basically trying to look for someone sitting sitting in a bush there's a stash there no one there okay so now that we're out in the open here we need to look to our left hand side because we still got to think about the guy who's possibly stream sniping or he i, I don't know if we watch the footage but we gotta watch ourselves here this guy's still got his stuff on him i'm gonna clear the area first i still don't see anything Level 24. He had good eyes and good knowledge. Oh no, he shot at me. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this raid. Okay, that's resort. We're not going to hit resort this raid. We're just going to rinse and repeat. That's still in resort. Okay, finally, we got shots. So, that sounded like an SKS to me. Which means, again, we got to think about what ammo they're using. Which is BP. This also means they're loud, which is, in my eyes, I won't see them as modified SKS. It might just have a standard PSO. So we're looking at the normal spots like here. Um, I want to get behind the guy. I don't want to go in front of him. Okay, because if he's scoping, he might have tunnel vision. But if he's got a scope, he could see us from further away. That's something that we don't want to do. I'm pretty sure the AKM guy would left this place by now. When I'm running across, I'm scanning at the top of there, as well as looking for silhouettes on top of um, resort. Because there's... Shoot Born in Heaven is really easy to do when you're down here. You don't actually need to mess with the zeroing of your gun. Because you're shooting down from resort. So you just need to watch yourself here. Now that we're in the opposite spot, we're going to now start scanning this ridge right here whilst we're pushing along. And we're going to let our stamina regen because we're about to engage someone. If you're going to engage someone and the stamina is low, that scav is down there. And he's running. That scav's seen someone. Perfect. This is this scav is just giving us all the information we need. Okay. There is someone down on the main road next to the beach. We got shot from behind. That shot was a player. 
We're gonna continue our rotate. Uh, there is sound. It's client side where you don't hear it. There's always sound of a click. Andrew. So that right there is again me thinking that okay, that's the I'm getting stream smoke from the guy behind us. Okay, he's engaging someone. That scav's talking. The guy has to be in the main road. You got to think about the elevation as well of that scav. That scav's not triggered. They killed the player. Which might be that dead body that we saw down there. Nope, still engaging. And again. Okay, so we need to determine. There he is. So that scab was purely just giving noise away. So this guy has actually got an M700 iron sights. Fucking hell, the ball's on this guy. Don't really care about you gun. And then race really good. This is we're gonna insurance for that. Again, we gotta be wary of the guy that's stream sniping. He might be, he might not be. I just say he is because it's easier. Realistically, by now his rotation should almost be here. If he's got max strength. I'm just trying to fill up my butt. We need to get off this raid ASAP. I'll steering to our right hand side. There he is on top of the ridge. Oh, no, that's a bush. Whee! Uh, fucking bollocks. I'd much rather be up on the ridge line than down here. So. Basically, what we're trying to do now is stay ahead of the person that's chasing us from before. Oh, that? I'm checking the fire mode. When I'm running around in the open like this, I'm single fire. The only time I go full auto is when I'm entering close quarters. And even then, I might not go full auto. If I don't know what I'm going against, right, then I'm normally full auto. So again, still checking up ahead. We know there's a scav opposite there. Scavs are absolutely cracked on Scav Island. They'll shoot anyone at tunnel. We're about to come over a ridge, so we're going to need to watch behind us for the guy that's possibly chasing us, checking the ridges behind us, and then keep going. And when I'm running, I'm going to put objects between me and that individual. So you see right here, I'm literally running through bushes and trying to put trees behind me. Now what I'm doing is scanning ahead. I'm looking for a silhouette over here on top of that ridge, as well as voodoo spot. Which is literally on the rocks to the far left. And scanning that ridge on the far right hand side. Whilst looking in bushes to see if there's any sort of helmets. Because helmets are a great giveaway if someone's hiding inside a bush. We don't see anyone up top so that's clear. Video spot's clear as well. And we're still going to push around. Still keep an eye out up there. Whilst watching the bushes. Whilst listening for noise that we don't make. Now this is the scary part. The guy behind us could be close by. My goal is to get behind this rock and stick my head down. Now we can't get headshot. There you go. <sighs> Four players. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Freddy Beansy and Pear Fredrickson. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.